Hi, I'm Ricky Sherwood. And I'm Dave Adams. And you're watching The, the Core, Core Mechanic. Mechanic. Today, we're going to be looking at number 54 on Mike's list of 100 games that you absolutely, positively must know how to play. Flux. So, Flux is one of the few games I can get my wife to play. Really? Yeah, I know. Like, she's not a huge board. She's not really into the board game thing. She did try when I really got into it. Yeah. But Flux has a version called Oz Flux, and it's oh, kind of based on The Wizard of Oz. Wizard of Oz, yeah. And the funny thing is, is she'll do all these complex gaming elements, but because it's really themed right for her, yep. she just loves she's it and engages it. Yeah. Right. I mean, there's a couple of games she'll still play, yeah. but Flux is one of the key ones. I always make sure I take it with me when we travel on the off chance that we might be able to sit down and have a game together. So that's fantastic because Flux, we've only played Space Flux together. Um, oh, yeah, okay. But it is the easiest, hardest game I've ever played. Yeah, I know, right? And the best part is, is it's one of those games I took into uh, my junior school and middle senior school board gaming groups, yeah. um, and they love it. I took uh, the, uh, what do you call it, the real show, mm -hmm. Flux, which is really fun. And it, I've, I've now played Space, Real Show, Oz, uh, Zombies, I think. No, Monty Python. Yeah. Um, oh, and, there's a million of my yeah, versions. But each have no, some nice different elements. Yeah. I think they do spend time theming them well. Yeah. And I think those things, those things them, obviously yeah. matter. Yes. Because it seems to matter to the people playing them anyway. Yeah. I mean, I like the game irrespective of the theme, but I certainly enjoy each theme as they happen. You think it's got to do with you being able to pick out... References that you know. Yeah, so possibly. I mean, especially with the with the Monty Python one, it was a lot of the quotes. I fart in your gender direction. Your mother was a hamster and your father smelt of elderberries. Of course, you couldn't play around without everybody getting involved with the... And saying the quotes. Saying all the quotes. Yep. We want... A shrubbery! <laughs> going off on tangents. Listen, strange women lying in ponds distributing swords is no basis for a system of government. But kudos to them. They've done that well. Look, just a flesh wound. They've obviously thought about theming and how it works, and they've captured the theme and, and used the same game elements with some twists yep. to bring now, up the game. Yeah. Now, we didn't spend an awful lot of time in the introduction talking about the rules of Flux. Why? Well, the rules of Flux are simple. It's draw a card, play a card. Except every time you play a card, you might change the rules. Is that right? <laughs> that's it. In fact, you might be drawing five cards. Well, that's discarding right. Discarding two, and then you finally get the Doctor and this time machine in your hand, but, oops, now all of a sudden, it's you need the Death Ray and the well, that's Scientist right. or whatever the hell. The game is constantly changing, and this, to me, is why everyone should have to play Flux. Because it does something that's anathema to board game design. That's and that yeah. is mess with the rules. Well, that's right, where the, the theme of the game is changing the rules. Yes. If anything, that is the core mechanic of the game. It, it uses cards, but the cards, you know, all you're trying to do is get two or three in front of you. But it's the fact that the rules keep changing that keeps the game interesting. Yeah, and that's a fair point. I mean, you've got a few different elements going on there too. It's not as simple as um, you've got some quite complex elements going on oh, yeah. at times too. And I'd say even in competitive card games, one of the hardest things to understand is how cards interact with, with each, each other, other yeah. which is something Flux does. It has really complex card interactions. Uh, but at the same time, you, you've got action, you've got uh, keepers, you've got, uh, you know, uh, creepers, game, yeah. creepers, game ending, um, and action cards, all, all these things going on. In, you've got interrupt cards. Yes. Sorry, was the other one I needed. But, you know, people are, people have fun playing with them because the game just sort of takes all that and just makes it silly. Yes. Doesn't take itself too seriously. No. Has a lot of fun. And, and yeah. then you've got this wonderful theme stuff going on. And the length of the game is? Well, yes, it's clearly five minutes or ten minutes. Or thirty minutes. Or it's an maximum hour. on the box or an hour. I know, right. Or we're actually still playing a game with Flux. Yeah. It's just we stopped to make this video. That's right. <laughs> the game can go on forever because you might just not hit it. 
I it's mean, true. eventually, eventually. Just yeah, you think so. Just sheer statistical prob- probability you've got to get something. But I have seen games get disbanded at the end of lunch breaks because yes. they couldn't get through the game in the lunch break. Yeah. And I've seen multiple games played in a lunch break. So uh, that's... Your mileage you think, may you vary, think, but you'll always have fun. That's true. Do you think that's an actual problem for the game, though? No, no. Heavens no. Like I was... Like I said, as long as you're having fun. And having between fun. the references, everyone talking about their favourite moments, no one taking the game seriously. This is not a serious game. You can't be no. competitive. It's just... That's true. As try as I might. Yeah. You and you will, you'll try, but... The, the question is, and here's, here's a valid question, I, I really do think that this is important for if we're going to have any discussion around the game of Flux, mm. is why is it, firstly, such a complex game and why is it that my wife beats me routinely? <laughs> I mean, if it, if it is so luck-based, and if there is, you can't take it seriously, how is it that she manages to defeat me so so proficiently and on so many occasions? What's going on, Ricky? What's going on? I'm, not sure <laughs> I'm the competitive card player here. Yeah, you are the competitive What's card player. On? I've also seen what you like with dice, and it's not great. Oh, yeah, okay, fair enough. But, yeah... Uh, maybe you just need to up your sample pace. Yeah, You've got to play true. more play more games of Flux. I, I, I liked, um, you know, there are some fun elements that, that the game has. Like, I, I know uh, during the Oz Flux game, it has things like if you're wearing glasses, you can draw an extra card. Oh, okay. If you've got a green shirt on and things like that. Wow. Um, and so there have been times, I'll admit, when we're about to play a game of Flux or we're mid-game Flux and that card comes out, I have been known to change items of clothing <laughs> just to get that advantage. <laughs> I'm just saying. Yeah. The question is, like, there are people who absolutely hate this game. And I can understand why. Is there, is there something we're missing in terms of serving that community? Like, what what do you think the main complaints would be? In, in it'll, terms- it'll be the randomness. Um, you can't strategize. You can try. But everyone at some point is going, well, you've got to play a card from yep. your hand. That's always going to be something that you do. Or two cards. Or five cards or whatever yeah. the rule ends up being. And it's that constant flux that... Sorry, there's <laughs> how, no how better that? word for it. Um, it's that, co- that constant flux is what's going to get people irritated. I guess so. And I, I, I've seen people get frustrated with this before. They set up a win condition and they, they miss out and on it goes. time and time again. Yep. I could understand that frustration. Yep. But that's not how I play the game. It's not probably... It's not an optimal way to play. It's the not game. an optimal way. I think you're, I think you're setting yourself up for failure really, yeah. doing it that way. Yeah. Why is it on the list? Well, I guess in terms of the the unique element of the game, just the, just how chaotic the game can be, and yet how cleverly, just the time spent to get these cards to interact the way they do. Yeah. Is, oh, that's got to be a work of genius in itself. Like I don't get ever get to a moment in the game where I go, this doesn't work. Yeah. Um, we, we can't play the game anymore. Yeah. So the, their interactions between the cards are very well crafted. Like they've got that down pat, and yet the chaos and the the, the variability in states of play yeah. is expensive. Yeah, like I said, what they went out and did there is probably considered to be, well, really, really odd. Yeah. Absolutely. By concepts of games, because games have rules. That's how you separate them from anarchy. And just one more thing, I suppose. Like, I never thought I'd say this, but I suppose nothing's, you know, off limits when it comes to game design, really. It's true. Um, I've seen a lot of people sit there with a game idea and say, oh, I'm going to do something different with my action cards. I'm going to do something different with the way we use dice. I've never heard anyone say, I'm going to mess around with how rules as a concept work. Yeah, that's you know? interesting. And sooner or later, someone's going to come up and say, I've got this idea for the box. <laughs> um, Where you're going to open the box and throw out everything and the <laughs> box is just the game. <laughs> yeah. And I'd like to see some more interesting ways of using game rules in yeah. systems. But I'm not sure that... I don't know how far we can go with it. I think Flux gives it, takes it to a place which is really good, fun, entertaining, uh, but I'm not I'm not sure, like, exactly... Well, you can't be competitive in it, so you're never going to get the hardcore That's competitive true. crowd. 
That's so. true. But look, that's all we've got time for today. Thanks for listening. Uh, if you like what we're doing, please hit that like button. If you're new to this community, please hit that subscribe button. And until next time, my name is Dave Adams. I'm Ricky Sherwood. And you've been watching The Core Mechanic. <laughs>